triangle is the most powerful geometry which is a close two dimensional shape having three sides. But how exactly do we calculate the area of different types of triangles? Hey, my name is Isil Khan and in this episode we will be learning about triangles area determination. Before explaining about triangles area, let's take a look into different types of triangles. As you can see we got six types of triangles where three are based on sides and the rest are based on angles. So just stop the video here and study the given table. Like as you can see in based on sides we have scalene, isosceles and equilateral triangle and based on angles we got acute, right angle triangle and obtuse triangle. I hope you already know all these things, okay? I mean all these six types of triangle. So I'll come directly into the area determination because in this video our approach is about area, alright? So let's start with the basic one. That's the right angle triangle. So the area of this triangle must be one half times base cross its perpendicular, which is actually just half of the rectangle. So whenever you have base and perpendicular of the triangle that is a right angle triangle you can use this simple formula to determine its area. Also if you don't have these two elements you can work them out from other elements by using Pythagorean's theorem and maybe trigonometric ratios. To learn on Pythagorean's theorem in detail just go and watch it in the same channel link to that video is down below in the video description. Another one is an equilateral triangle which has length of all sides equal. That is just the definition of an equilateral triangle. Okay? To determine the area of this triangle, we could use this simple formula which is actually area equals square root 3 divided by 4 times a square or you can say 0.433 a square where a is just of course the side of the triangle. The derivation to this formula is also been uploaded in the same channel. So if side of an equilateral triangle is known, just use this simple formula. However, if its side isn't known and its perpendicular is known instead of it, then you can use the same formula used for right angle triangle or you can also work out its side by using trigonometric ratios or trigonometric identities, okay? Another one is an isosceles triangle which has length of two sides equal and its area is in a sample. For example, if you have sides of an isosceles triangle, just work out its perpendicular by using Pythagorean's theorem and then determine its area by using the same formula used for right angle triangle. So the area of an isosceles triangle is one half base times its perpendicular. The final challenge we can face is the scalene triangle which has all sides different in length. This can also be acute as well as obtuse triangle. So the formula for this approach is going to be very important and the formula for this triangle can be used for all types of triangles. So this is very important, okay? And that's of course Hero's formula, which is of course the area of any type of triangle equals square root s into s minus a times s minus b times s minus c, where s is the semi-parameter of the triangle and a, b, c are the sides of triangle. So that's set. Now let's have just an example, okay? just uh, to work out an area of a, a property to know if we have learned something or not. Suppose if we are asked to find the area of the given property, so how can we do that? Alright, so let's come into the solution. Guess what I'm gonna do here is to split this property into two parts and I'm gonna draw a line just like that one. Okay, you can see that, okay? So here we got two shapes, an equilateral triangle and a rectangle. That means the total area of the property is going to be area of the triangle which is an equilateral triangle and that is 0.433a square plus area of the rectangle which is a cross b and these are the uh, base and uh, its height you can say. Okay. 
are the breath in bed no problem all right so area of the property equals 0 0.433 times a square which is 10 here so 10 square plus a which is pipe times b which is 10 and that's said just by doing little math with these guys we can get area equals 93.30 square meters that's it if you have any problem let me know in the comment section and hey if you like this type videos please support me by smashing that subscribe button thank you dears for watching see you next time and wassalam